And um, before we take, I think I actually will take a couple of financial questions. Simon, if you're up for that. A couple of financial questions that come in. Uh, are there any new sources of funding that have been made available recently? Simon, maybe you could answer that. And the second one I've got for you, how can I get my staff back to work, but I don't have enough income to cover their salary completely? Maybe you want to have a go at those? Yeah, sure, no problem. A um, couple of things I would have probably said around that. Um, I would probably put out to the forum um, how many of you have taken advantage of the bounce back loan. Um, I guess through this period, I've never been really a fan of encouraging people to borrow um, to get themselves out of trouble. Um, but I guess what I would say is round about the bounce back loan, if you haven't done it yet, then still give it serious consideration because it is the cheapest form of finance that you will get just now. Um, and I guess rather than borrowing to get yourself out of a hole, I would be encouraging people to think about investment uh, opportunities that they could be using that funding for. A um, couple of things probably I suppose to maybe more directly answer the actual question. Um, not a huge amount of new things um, other than the kind of Chancellor's incentives around um, getting people back to work, the £1,000 bonus um, that he was talking about. Um, but where probably I see more things developing over the next you know, few weeks and things is I think any funding pots that will become available will be much more industry specific. Um, we saw obviously the kind of change to VAT for hospitality sector. Um, I would suspect as we start to come through the next few weeks and months, any funding will be very, very specific. So I guess my guidance around that would be to kind of really keep watching what happens um, in each of your own individual um, industries. Um, another area that I was going to bring to the table, um, which is one that we're working incredibly hard on just now, is um, that of um, research and development tax funding. Um, which is a pot um, of money that the government has had available for um, a number of years now, but it's starting to come to the fore as kind of people get over the myths that are attached to it. Um, many people think the name research and development means white coats, um, and it's not that at all. Um, it can apply across the boards to all types of industry. Um, and the government are very, very keen that people access this pot of funding and they've actually pledged in the last um, budget to um, get their funding pot up to about 22 billion um, by 2025. Um, so this is a pot where um, companies can be rewarded for trying new technologies, trying new schemes, trying new projects, and it can actually put cash back in your bank account. Um, so it doesn't fall into borrowing. Um, so it's something I think probably people should think about their processes and things. And many, many people will be doing R&D work. Um, they just don't know that they're doing it because they've not had the proper conversation around about it. Um, the R&D itself doesn't actually have to be successful um, to make a claim. You can have an unsuccessful R&D project and still claim off the back of it. Um, and as I say, I would emphasize this is money back in people's pockets. It's not borrowing. Jim, I think you're still on mute. Well done, you can take that one off in your bingo card. Um, <laughs> We had this, there's a question, uh, quite specific. I think you're probably the person to answer it though. We run a charity retail store in air. Might you know of a specialist able to assist with integrating QuickBooks with electronic stock trading and electronic point of sale hardware? Uh, yes, we can help with that. Um, these cloud packages like QuickBooks and Xero um, are all built around integration. Um, so yeah, we would be able to help. So if the person's online and wants a bit of assistance with that, then please re reach out to me. Yeah, whoever whoever asked that question, yeah, absolutely, just drop a note to Simon and. Uh, I will just put box. my email address. Yep, that'd be grand. Good stuff. Okay, thank you. Um, 
the last question, Simon, you mentioned the R and D. Or did you mention R and D tax credits as a source of funding? Yes, that's what I was talking about previously. I think I may have missed one point to you. I think I may have missed one point about getting staff back to work. Yeah. Um, people need to go and have a look again at the f the furlough arrangements. Um, this new flexible furlough scheme has been introduced since the first of July. And it is all built around trying to get people back in some shape or form. Um, and early indications are it is quite flexible. We have the previous scheme was you were either in furlough or you were out furlough, and you had to live with the three week decision that came out the back of that. This new scheme is very much designed around getting people back perhaps part time so they can part fund um, through furlough part fund through the business itself. So it's all geared up to let's try and get things moving again. So that's something I think people should go and have a serious look at if they are thinking about bringing staff back. And I would say people, they need to be bringing staff back now and get themselves going or they'll be behind the curve. Okay, great. Thanks, Simon.